Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MariaDB on Linux CentOS. I'm going to cover all these topics. So we will check Linux version. We will create a MariaDB repo, and we will put the path for the download of the package for installation. We will install MariaDB server and MariaDB client. We will start the service, and we will run a secure installation so we can provide the password for root and some other configuration. And finally, we will create a database to test a if everything is looking uh, good uh, now first of all uh, i'm going to take you to the new website uh, tech brothers tutorials uh, and uh, we are still using tech brothers it website uh, but new tutorials pretty much will go on this website uh, so you go to databases uh, and here we have mariadb tab uh, and uh, uh, right here this is the very first chapter installation and configuration uh, and i have written a post here how to install mariadb on linux standalone uh, we are following the same pattern what we were doing in tech brothers it we write the post uh, put the scripts there uh, and then create a video for you now these are all the steps we have to do on the uh, on the linux box uh, while we will install mariadb first of all uh, let's check the uh, li uh, linux version on the machine so I'm going to connect with the one of the Windows box and uh, where we have installed PuTTY and from uh, using a PuTTY we will uh, connect to the our Linux box. So this is the IP of the um, host or uh, Linux box. I'm going to make the fonts a little bigger so you guys can see that easily what I'm typing. Okay, so we are all good here. We say hit open. I'm going to provide the pass, uh, username and password. So let me do. It's a connected uh, uh, successful. Let me put this screen in the middle so we can see clear. Uh, let's paste that. So we did a cat etc red hat release and we see that uh, we have CentOS Linux release 7.4.1708 core. Okay, once we have this information, uh, this uh, helps us uh, to download the package that we need uh, uh, to, to use uh, for the installation. Okay, let's. Uh, go to the next step uh, and here we have to provide uh, uh, this uh, file uh, where we will provide the package uh, path uh, um, we will check if the file is there fine if there it is there uh, we will edit it if it is not there we are going to create this one and just uh, put this information uh. so this is the package uh, location uh, that uh, we use for installation i'm going to copy this one and show you a little bit uh, about different packages there so you can see that uh, we have packages for CentOS, we have packages for Fedora and other uh, Linux versions. Uh, here I'm going to use uh, CentOS 7 AMD 64, fine, that's, that's the path uh, we will be using. Uh, I already have uh, uh, updated uh, this line uh, right here, so uh, we can just copy and paste. Uh, from uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the editor here, so VI, that's uh, the editor we will be using we will go to etc directory then yum.repos.d directory and then we have file mariadb.repo file okay let's hit enter and see if this file has any information there is no information in this file fine great so we are going to go ahead and uh, copy this and we will paste in that file so first of all you hit escape and then you will hit i so you see that the mode is chained to the inserter. Then you are going to right click and it will paste the contents what you have copied. Now you will hit escape again and then you will put colon and it will bring you down right here. You will type W, you will type Q and then explanation mark. Okay, so you are all good. Let's check that if this file is written correctly. So we are going to go there, yum uh, dot repos dot d and maria db dot repo and you see that the file was saved correctly that's great now we are ready for installation let's open the website again and go to the next step and copy the command it says sudo yum install maria db server and maria db client so you are yum is going to install this uh, uh, package for us uh, that's MariaDB server and MariaDB client uh, right click here and hit enter this might take uh, some time uh, depending on the uh, speed of the computer uh, uh, internet uh, and uh, downloading so yes uh, we would like to do that and uh, we see that it's going pretty fast uh, 
let's see three percent four percent so it might take a little bit of time because uh, the total size is something like 157 MB or something so let me take you back to the website real quick uh, and show you about this website so right here we are dividing the tutorials according to the category so you have databases here Cassandra MariaDB SQL server and all that will go here and uh, on top of that then we have uh, math tutorials uh, these are the tutorials my kids made uh, and uh, they they posted as a uh, bro and sis math club uh, and uh, i embedded these one here so you can see a little bit uh, they have uh, uh, written all that then they have videos at the end uh, pretty cool i mean uh, if you have kids uh, fine they can come here learn it's free um they don't have to pay and the kind of uh kids are teaching other kids also that make a kind of uh, you know more sometime um, exciting and uh, um, more interesting so right now i'm writing some scripts about the uh, sql server real time dba development uh, script so you can see I, i'm starting by chapter by chapter like server information database tables and all that so we'll have a lot of uh, information going on uh, here we have a started tfs uh, um, um, tutorials and uh, programming like C, C sharp and the uh, operating system we will keep adding all the tutorials slowly we have, we are not a whole lot of people so uh, the, you know it, it, it will take some time installation is still in under the process uh, we uh, will keep using uh, tech brothers IT uh, we have a lot of uh, posts there we have a lot of scripts there but uh, moving forward uh, our goal is uh, put these scripts uh, uh, for the new tutorials uh, here because this one is more managed uh, we have uh, we can divide the things in chapters and uh, we can do a lot more uh, as a writer so you see that chapters are here you have topics uh, you have a next button back uh, you know previous button that was not available in tech versus it we tried our best to post as much as material we can uh, to help other people and uh, here we we will uh, do our best as well and uh, we appreciate the support we always has uh, from you guys okay so yes uh, i'm gonna keep going with the installation uh, this is this should be completed pretty soon thanks for uh, uh, taking tour to my website and I hope uh, you guys will start using it and um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much sure uh, we will get some uh, good feedback uh, from you guys uh, you you've been supporting us on uh, Tech Brother IT uh, YouTube as well as on uh, Tech Brother IT um, uh, website now I'm really hoping that this uh, this uh, uh, installation to complete uh, soon, so you guys don't get bored here. Um, it's it get harder sometimes uh, for a person who's making video to stop the video and uh, go back and uh, you know start over uh, another video, then make put them together. Um, if the installation take like a couple of minutes, I'm gonna just uh, keep hanging in there, and uh, you guys can also. And I, you know, maybe don't watch the black screen. <laughs> let, let, let's put it that way, uh, you know, uh, but it should not take forever getting close. Uh, when I install on servers, uh, uh, what happened? I mean, it, this this goes really quick, uh, like in a minute uh, or sometime less than two minutes. Uh, um, this machine um, uh, is part of the network. What we have, we have like twelve uh, computers connected uh, with the internet, uh, and uh, the internet is a home based. Uh, um, that that that's one of the reason it takes a little bit uh, more time to download those uh, uh, packages and uh, install them as well. So uh, it's getting there. Looks like uh, um, it has uh, downloaded all that uh, 170 MB, and uh, now it is uh, getting uh, to the final stages. Uh, I can see from there. M my goal is always like uh, get video to less than 10 minutes. Uh, but somehow the videos goes lengthy, um, and uh, let's see. Okay. Now what what are you doing right now? <laughs> um, okay, I will, will wait for another minute. If not, I don't know. I will stop the video and come back and make another one from here and uh, combine them for you. Okay, completed the 
I hope you guys are still here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, if um, the service is started. A uh, um, couple of things you can check. You can go to the CD var and uh, then you can go to lib uh, lib directory. Sorry, CD lib and uh, there if you will do ls and you should see uh, MariaDB sorry my SQL folder right here so if this folder is there it means uh, the installation went fine and it will it will uh, uh, create some files in this folder so if you go to my SQL you see all those uh, uh, log files here and I uh, everything and this performance uh, uh, schema and test these are the databases that comes uh, kind of with it uh, like a system databases so let's uh, uh, go to the next step uh, so what we had uh, done we have done the installation here and uh, now we would like to do uh, we would like to start uh, the service so you say sudo systemctl start uh, your mysql service um, so mysql the, the name of the service is mysql and uh, we the product we are installing is a mariadb so you you have multiple ways that you can always say systemctl status mysql so if you run that one um, okay let me balance status mysql so if you run this one it will tell you like all the information uh, how if they, then it is running it is not running it is disabled okay or it is inactive so you can see right here it is inactive um, there are multiple ways to start it i'm going to use the uh, uh, let me copy this one um, here and uh, now we copy so we say sudo super user and then uh, systemctl start mysql service so if you run this one uh, what happened is gonna uh, start the service so you can again run system ctl status uh, mysql now once you run it you see that uh, um, all that information okay to mariadb started and everything and uh, um, there, there are there are uh, other uh, kind of ways to stop and start the service and um, uh, you see right here it's an active and running so you know that's good now our service is running we are all good um, if we, we can also use the service and then provide the service name mysql and then say start or stop let's say we want to stop it uh, this way uh, you will see like okay message as well so i'm going to go back and say service uh, mysql start you can use either of them like a my uh, system ctl and uh, then uh, service name and start it or use use service and uh, name of the service itself and start or stop so our service is running great uh, we are good now next part is that we are going to go ahead and uh, perform uh, the secure installation and that's where it will ask us to provide us uh, the root uh, password and uh, perform other um, configuration so it is asking to enter current password for root we don't have any so we are going to hit enter so it is going to ask us okay you would like to set the password yes and now i'm going to go ahead and provide the password next uh, we will uh, verify the password now remove an anonymous users yes i don't want any Disable uh, root login remotely. Yes, I don't want to log in for remote. Yes, uh, I don't care about that part. I'm gonna go uh, reload the privileges. Yes, so it's all good now. And our service is running. We can connect with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run um, the MySQL. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna run this command to connect to uh, MariaDB. So we'll say uh, MySQL dash u and then you provide the username in my case it's root and dash p so that we have to provide the password we provide the password and we should be connected to the mariadb you can see that uh, the prompt right here mariadb now let's uh, say show databases that will show us all the databases okay right now there are three databases and i have showed you in the directory as well now if we would like to create a database we say create database and we call it a tb let's call it very simple tech brothers and then okay so use the tb and okay the database will change now we can create table create table test and id integer um, go ahead insert into test and uh, we say values and we provide one okay select uh, start from test uh, so we say that uh, everything is coming right uh, now if we should exit from here then we go to the um, linux uh, prompt uh, and uh, remember i was uh, showing you guys uh, if uh, 
if you want to see all that uh, information if we do pwd like our current working directory we are in var lib and uh, there is a ls uh, minus la so it will show us uh, no ls uh, okay here we have a mysql directory so we can go to mysql and uh, then from mysql we can see that uh, we have uh, let's okay right here is the db right here so that's where your databases are created uh, by default what i'm going to do i'm going to stop the video here we learn how to um, install the mario db start the service stop the service and all that next video we will make uh, how to change the data directory so i will uh, uh, let's say i have another disk that i would like to use uh, and uh, move uh, uh, or create the databases uh, files uh, there instead of in the war lib uh, uh, mysql folder so we will uh, uh, perform that in next uh, video uh, please subscribe and uh, like our videos uh, and uh, your support is appreciated. I will see you guys uh, in next video.